William Malin here for GetMoreSports.com. And our Recruit and Reload series moves on to Notre Dame, who is trying to replace two of the most dynamic players, in my opinion, in college basketball last year, uh, in Zach August and, of course, Demetrius Jackson. Now, when you lose your big man and your point guard, that's a lot like losing the heart and the soul of your team because these are guys that are really running things on the defensive end. Your big men, when they are at their best, they really anchor everything. They're directing the defense from the back, obviously protecting the rim, obviously making up for some mistakes made by the guards on the outside. On the other end, offensively, your point guard is running things. He's the director, the conductor of everything that you're doing. And when they're as dynamic as Jackson was, that's really going to be tough to replace. But of course, Notre Dame does bring back firepower. In particular, I look at VJ Beecham, uh, a guy that tested the NBA draft waters, felt like he had another year to prove himself, a guy who really came on late in the season, especially as the country kind of took notice of Notre Dame again. Uh, I, I think he's in store for a big jump, and I didn't mention him in the article, but I think a lot of people need to watch out for Rex Fluger. Now, he was part of the 2015 recruiting class that a lot of people said nationally was down. Uh, he kind of fell out of favor with some recruiting experts late in his high school career, but he really made a name for himself at Notre Dame as a, as a freshman for his defense. If he can provide spot-up shooting as well, you're looking at a potentially three-year starter moving forward. That's a 3 and D guy, a high-level student, a high-level person in your locker room that can provide leadership, mentorship to younger guys, and will continue to improve. I really look for a guy like Fluger to make a big impact and a big jump as a sophomore.